Okay, so biggest piece of advice. This may go on a little bit long, but I think it's really important to hit these points, um, especially if you know, you're someone that's coming into the space, say with no experience, um, I, I'm interested in security, uh, by cybersecurity, I'm looking to come on as a stock analyst. Number one, don't do it for the possibility of a great salary. Uh, do it because it intrigues you, it, it excites you, you have a passion for learning. And why is that? Because in this role, in this position, you will always be, and you will never stop learning. You have to have a genuine interest and passion for cybersecurity and IT as a whole, you know, in general. Uh, the second thing, you know, there are no shortcuts, zero, none. You literally have to put the time into what you do to work, to learn. You have to start by knowing the foundations, as it were, um, which speaks to one of the biggest questions that you know, that gets floated around a lot when it comes to certifications. Certifications are important, yes, um, but don't think of them as a test to memorize and pass. Like you can write it like on the inside of your forearm or, or, or in your palm to, to pass. You really have to learn the disciplines. Um, when we're talking about cybersecurity disciplines, we're talking about networking, which is Network Plus, Security, Security Plus. Um, those are considered the foundation entry level you know, certifications. Attaining those could then really help you stand out from others that will be competing for that same role that you are. So if you don't do these things and really understand and learn It'll be very evident if you do secure that job interview or worse, if you happen to slip through the cracks and get hired on the job, that could not be a good day for you. Uh, the third thing um, is immerse yourself in the business. Um, we talk about this from like information attaining and leveling up. Uh, meaning staying abreast of news feeds, uh, information related to cybersecurity, um, because there are things that are happening every single day that you really do have to stay aware and vigilant. Um, and when it comes to you know leveling up, whether it's red teaming or blue teaming, um, there are many different platforms on the web that are excellent training, learning environments that do offer those real world scenarios to practice and learn all of those necessary hands-on skills. So if you happen to be someone that is coming into the industry with no experience, and hey, I've got my net plus, my security plus, but now you're able to speak to how you're using the theories that you've learned from those certifications and applying them to real world scenarios in that interview, now you're able to showcase your knowledge and abilities much more than someone who hasn't. Um, and lastly, uh, if you're good with all in terms of the first three aforementioned, uh, remember just to have fun. <laughs> have fun being the protector, the defender. Have fun learning something new every day with your team. Have fun and be proud in knowing what you do is making a difference in a big way. If you're able to do all those things with a company strong in culture and values like ECS that will align with yours, then you will love what you do and you will love your job.